I ask you who the most exciting man in mixed martial arts is today, I trust the answer just might be Justin Ray Gaethje. Realized a major championship outside the UFC. He has really taken this promotion by storm since signing with the MMA leader a few years ago. I mean, pace, pressure, aggressiveness, just meanness, a mentality that only allows him to pursue victory. Watching him against Edson Barbosa, the stance of the strikes that he took to get the knockout was a sight to behold. Oh. The fight against Michael Johnson in his UFC debut. Michael Johnson was a top five guy in the world, and Justin Gaethje completely melted him with pressure and pace. Just one of the most active guys in the UFC on the roster. More bonuses than UFC fights. You know, I say Justin Unreal. Gaethje back from the all right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, the inimitable Khabib Nurmagomedov. And this guy makes his way to the Octagon, D.C. You run out of time setting up everything he's accomplished, but he always puts that status as an undefeated fighter and UFC champion on the line. He will do so again here today. The moment he walked into AKA, you understood that there was something special about Nurmagomedov. He was a guy that was always listening, although he spoke no English. He was always listening and paying attention to try to learn and how to improve himself. In the moment he stepped foot in the gym, he was just open to each and every lesson, and now it's showing over the course of his UFC career. He was undefeated going into the UFC, and he has only built on that and become a champion, one of the most well-rounded fighters in all of the UFC. You know, your college wrestling teammates have told me when you showed up at Oklahoma State, you didn't speak English either. No, I didn't. It was all, it was all Southern Creole accent. It was all, it was all, hey, my boy. <laughs> right. Well, your English is now very proper, and so is Khabib's, and he's back on the proven ground here tonight again, trying to prove himself as one of the pound-for-pound -pound greatest fighters on this UFC roster. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Justin, the highlight, Gaethje. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nibagomeda. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Round one, you are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this play? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can... Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish line because he's got it very bad. Connects with another uppercut. He's landed a few big ones so far. That is his best punch. He finds it from so many different positions, and he can find that uppercut from both sides of the body. Mago Medov gets caught with that punch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. I've always thought one of Justin Gates' most underrated strikes is that left hook. 
throws it really tight to his right hand up and he's throwing the left hook. And he lands it over and over again. Look to the head there by Gage. Oh, combination lands. He wants to He's got him right here. Whoa! He's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style. Block. It's denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Nurmagomedov. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Close guard. situation with this fighter you're potentially playing with fire oh he's got the ground and pound going now he's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now he's able to relax here and he understands being a veteran of so many fights that as long as he's on top he's winning he feels like he's winning here he needs to push the arm to the side get his head against the mat now watch as he goes to the finish watch him Chess, go to the mat. And this might just be a matter of time. <laughs> wow. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing. Oh, yeah. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get oh, him. he might be out. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh! Knee to the body. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he is. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around. Setting up a sub here. He's attack on board now. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. This might just be a matter of time. And there it is! He got him! Yeah, great job executing the submission in that fight. Really strong work. You can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.
So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 14 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an armbar, Habib the Eagle, Herbano Meadows!